from a tiny shrew related to an elephant to a rock formation that's alive. Here are 15 of the world's most unusual animal species. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. And before we begin, let's give a shout out to Christian Stokes, letting us know the channel is helping with their scholastic endeavors. Well, that is excellent news, and we hope you ace those exams, Christian. And remember to subscribe, everyone, and we'll give you an A for being awesome. Cheers. Number 15, Mind Wolf. You'll find these creatures spread from southeastern Brazil to northern Argentina. They resemble a long-legged fox and can rotate the ears to listen for prey lurking in the grass. But it's not a wolf or a fox. It's the one and only species of the genus called Chrysisian, which means golden dog. Laughing Kookaburra. Now these birds are native to East Australia, and they belong to a family identified as kingfishers. Those are medium-sized birds with large heads and sharp pointed bills. The Kookaburra favors woodlands, which they inhabit through the year. Now even if you're not familiar with these critters, chances are you've heard the voice. The Laughing Kookaburra gets its name thanks to its distinctive call, which is often used as a stock sound effect for any production set in a jungle. Now the call is actually a way that the bird establishes its territory and is commonly heard at dusk or dawn. Chinese White Dolphin Adult dolphins of this species can be pink or white, and despite appearances, the creatures colored white are not albinos. The pink coloration is due to the animal's overly developed blood vessels, not due to its pigmentation. Interestingly, it's the population found among the Chinese coast that has the pink skin. Now did you know that these dolphins are actually born with black skin? That color changes to gray, and then a pinkish hue with spots when they're young. They're found from the South China Sea all the way to Australia. Kingajou. Because this little critter is nocturnal and rarely leaves the treetops, it's not often seen by humans. Now, it seems to be an animal of contradictions. It's considered a carnivore, even though fruit makes up 90% of its diet, and even though they have a tail and resemble monkeys, it's a unique species. One thing's for sure, they love to drink nectar from flowers, and that gives them the nickname of honey bear. Now, are you thinking that something so cute would make a great pet? Well, you better think again, because these animals carry a parasite called roundworm, which can be potentially deadly to their owners. Elephant Shrew. These animals resemble rodents or possums, but we're told these diminutive creatures are actually more closely related to elephants than to shrews. Kind of hard to believe, right? Well, maybe that accounts for the elongated nose. They're native to Africa and can reach around and weigh just over a pound. Did you know this animal is considered one of the fastest of all small mammals and have been recorded reaching speeds of more than 18 miles per hour? mystery bug. Quick now, what kind of ant is this? Ah, well, that's a trick question, because this is actually a spider. This ant mimic jumping spider can avoid predators by disguising itself as an ant. Over 300 spider species are known to mimic ants, and curiously, these arachnids seem to avoid hunting ants as prey. Desert Tortoise. Now you might tend to associate a tortoise with an aquatic or rainforest habitat, but there are two species of tortoise that actually thrive in desert environments where ground temperatures can exceed more than 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The desert tortoise is found in the Mojave and Sonoran deserts of the U.S. and areas of northwestern Mexico. They can live up to 80 years and spend around 95% of their lives in burrows and rock shelters, where they stay inactive for most of the year. That inactivity helps them regularly the body temperature and conserve water during hot periods. And during the winter, they'll hibernate to survive periods of freezing temperatures and scarce supplies of food. The lifespans are increased thanks to the high tolerance for water, salt, and energy imbalances. Whale shark. Can you guess what the world's largest fish is? Well, that would actually be the whale shark. 
The largest verified specimen weighed around 47,000 pounds and measured more than 45 feet wide. With dimensions like those, it's easy to understand why they're compared to the huge marine mammals. And we found a report from 2010 indicating an extremely rare albino whale shark was seen in the Galapagos Islands near Darwin. That beast was estimated at around 30 feet long, but we could not find if it's been reported since. Tarantula hawk. Well, it's neither a hawk nor a tarantula, but it is an enormous wasp, and it is so ferocious that they're capable of hunting down and eating tarantulas, because a spider that large provides a hearty meal for the wasp's offspring. The stinger of a tarantula hawk can measure a third of an inch, and it delivers a sting that is rated as one of the most painful in the world. They won't bother you unless they're harassed, so you might not want to bug this bug. Sicilian. Although it's often mistaken for a serpent, among other things, this creature is actually a Sicilian amphibian. They're limbless and generally use the sense of smell to navigate since the blind. The amphibians are still a bit of a mystery though. Experts think they breathe through the skin and they likely feed on small worms and fish. They were initially discovered in the Amazon in 1968, but were so rarely seen that another sighting was not reported until 2012. Echidna. Now this is also called the spiny anteater, and it's often mistaken for a porcupine. Along with the platypus, they are the only mammals that lay eggs, and those are creatures identified as monotremes. Like the platypus, they have electrosensors located at the tip of the snout, which are used for electrolocation and communication. Echidnas are found in Australia and New Guinea. The coarse hair and spines have inspired some to call them the Australian hedgehog, but they have no relation to that critter, or to porcupines for that matter. And while they're unrelated to anteaters, they do display some similar behavior. They'll tear into anthills and use the long sticky tongues to collect prey. Did you know these critters are thought to have evolved around 20 million years ago from a monotreme similar to a platypus? Bongo. This creature with the white stripes and big ears is called a bongo, and it was born at the Houston Zoo. The pictures from Stephanie Adams show a male animal named Brody, and you can see him portrayed at various angles, at rest, or accompanying his mom at the zoo in Texas. Bongos are among the largest species of African forest antelope, and as an example, Brody weighed some 40 pounds at birth. Adult males can weigh nearly 900 pounds and measure more than 10 feet long. They're known by their distinctive stripes and for the spiraled horns which can reach nearly 40 inches long. Both males and females have them. Pink land iguanas. So should you ever want to see one of these critters in the pink flesh, you better have plenty of time for a long journey. These lizards are only found in one place in the world, on Isabella Island in the Vulcan Wolf region in the Galapagos Archipelago. And that's about 600 miles due west of Ecuador in the Pacific Ocean. That region is home to many unusual animal species, including these pink iguanas, of which there are estimated to be less than 100 currently alive. Did you know the animal is so unique it's actually recognized as a species unto itself. Raccoon dog. The name notwithstanding, these critters are neither raccoons or dogs, but they are canids that are native to East Asia. And the canid family does include dogs, wolves, and foxes. They're linked with raccoons due to their physical resemblance to that animal, but they're not closely related. They are the only known canids that actually hibernate during the winter, although it's more like a long nap than a deep sleep that they take from November to April. Did you know these critters have a lineage that dates back millions of years? Excavated fossils in Europe indicate a larger version of the raccoon dog appeared until nearly 12,000 years ago in France and Hungary during the Pleistocene, and fossils found in Japan date to about the same era. Weighing up to around 20 pounds, they're thought to make good pets, although they are not so welcome in Sweden, where they're considered an invasive species. In Japan, raccoon dogs are known as tanuki, and are linked to mythical shapeshifters that are believed to bring good fortune.
And before heading to the number one critter, here's a few honorable mentions. The purple atelopus is a toad that was found in a remote area of Suriname. Just check out its unique coloration. The fluorescent purple markings really stand out, don't they? A lot of times, critters have those striking colors as a means of warning off predators that they're poisonous or venomous. We couldn't tell if that's actually the case here, though. Now, these marine critters are known as blanket octopuses due to the long, transparent webs that connect the arms of adult females. Now, females of this species have a decided size advantage over the males. They can measure more than six and a half feet, while the guys go less than an inch. The Living Rock Believe it or not, these are not rocks, but actual living, breathing animals. The rock-like facade helps the strange critters blend into their environment and evade predators. On the inside, they appear like a mass of blood-red creatures identified as Piura chilensis, which are sac-like marine life, also known as sea squids. They're hermaphroditic critters, born male, then developing female organs, which allow it to essentially reproduce with itself. But they only go that route if they're alone and no potential mate can be located. They're known as filter feeders because the animals inhale seawater and filter out algae and microorganisms before exhaling the processed water back to the sea. The creatures are most often found in Chile, where they're considered a delicacy. 